Welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior 3's latest video gameplay walkthrough. I'm here to walk you through another mission of Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, and it takes place in the mountains of Georgia. It is covered in snow, and it's going to play and feel completely differently to what we've shown before. In the mission, we're following a lead on a prisoner, and we're going to be infiltrating an enemy outpost to try and rescue him. Now, we've already started choosing our loadout. We've taken our primary weapon, a sniper rifle, and we've bought a bunch of special bullets. So now we're gonna take a secondary weapon, an AK-47 out, put a silencer on it, and grab a sidearm, the Garrett M9, also silenced. We grab a knife and go to the gadget section. And here the most important thing is the drone, which is gonna be our best recon tool. We're going to modify it, put a hacking mod in it, and it's going to become very useful in this mission and add some other modifications. Then we're going to take a few throwing knives, some frag grenades, and maybe a C4 explosive and a decoy trap. So once we've got that, we take on some armor and we're good to go and do our mission. We will quickly confirm our selection in the laptop, and the screen on the left is going to give us an idea of what we can expect on this mission. John, I found the location of that place, that slaughterhouse. It's in the mountains to the north. We have no time to waste. Just don't get yourself killed. <clears throat> in this video, we're guiding John through another area controlled by the Separatists. They've pushed back the NATO-backed Georgian forces and taken over a large part of the country, including military bases, civilian towns, comm stations, and industrial facilities. They have a lot of know-how on how to operate the most high-tech facilities, and John's official task is to find out how they can be operating at such a high capacity and then to shut them down. His unofficial agenda, though, is to find his brother, Robert North. Robert was taken by unknown operatives two years before, and recent reports indicate he was seen in this area of Georgia. And we're going to find out what's happened to him and get him out. Whether he wants to be helped remains to be seen, as nothing is ever simple in these kind of scenarios. Okay, so we've arrived at the mission area, and normally snipers work in pairs, with a spotter who detects targets and measures the distance and wind. But John is deep inside enemy territory without backup, so he has to act as his own spotter. So the first thing we'll do is find a good vantage point and scout out the location ahead. Remember that higher ground is not always the best place to be, as you need to have an exit route in case of an alarm. You don't want to be stuck in a tower or under enemy fire with no way out. Watch out, John. The whole place is monitored with CCTV. Maybe you should focus on hacking their servers first. Good idea. We've pretty much got the whole location in view, so it's time to use the drone for recon. The drone will mark our enemies automatically and also detect any traps, such as mines. It's worth remembering that although this is John's most high-tech tool, it can and will be noticed by the enemies, so don't fly it too close. It can be modified, though, to have more camouflage capabilities, and also features like security camera hacking, longer battery life, better tagging ranges, so it's important to gather resources around the game world to afford these modifications. There's a CCTV box appearing on the screen, and Lydia, who has both a professional and personal history with John, has asked us to hack those boxes to make infiltration easier. The drone also shows us sabotage objects like generators and fuse boxes that we can use to manipulate the AI. When we're done with recon, it's time to take the sniper rifle and take our first targets. Now, it's always a good idea to start with the most isolated target. So, this separatist right here in the tower, we're going to zoom in on him. Set the scope 200 meters to combat bullet drop. Check the wind and pull the trigger.
In this mission, we're about two-thirds into the game, and the place we are attacking is pretty heavily guarded, with CCTV cameras, armored enemies, sentries and towers, and traps. Our task is to rescue a prisoner from an abandoned slaughterhouse, which is now being used for body disposal and interrogations. The prisoner is connected with Robert, so this is a high priority for John. Use your mini-map and realize the environment is your enemy. Not only are there traps around the outposts, but there are deadly cliffs and hungry wild animals. But in this case, the environment can also be your resource, and if we trace these tracks, we'll see a safe path through the minefield. In other cases, they may warn us of enemy positions, so a sniper going on his nest might have a booby trap path to it just to have his back secured. Also, they can tell us about mission-specific clues, like if we're hunting for a target, we can look for his tracks and know where he is. John is also a skilled demolitions expert, so he can disarm those mines and can even get some resources out of it. When you look at this Georgian landscape, you can almost forget there are actually regions torn apart by civil war. It's time to get to a good sniping spot and once again use the sniper rifle to take out any enemies in the isolated positions. There's one on the rooftop. And always remember about the distance to your target in the wind. Once you get a clean shot, pull the trigger. After neutralizing this enemy, we have a clear path for the drone to fly it to the CCTV box and disable it like Lydia told us to. Once we're close, we will also be able to tap into the feed and try and locate our target. These cameras are a good way of gathering intel on your outpost. Even if it's not directly specified in your mission, it's always a good idea to hack them and see what's out there waiting for you. Okay, I hacked the CCTV server, but it seems there's another one controlling the rest of the cameras. Lydia? Yes? I know the location of our guy. He's in one of the rooms in the basement. Good. Move on. Okay, we have the location of our target now. We know he must be important to the Separatists, because it's a very heavily guarded outpost. <clears throat> and we still have to get to him, so we're going to zip down and see if we can find a path to the basement. Always grab those resources, because they're going to be useful for crafting later. It's dark outside, so we'll be less visible to the patrolling Separatists. But we'll have to stay out of any lights on this level, because then we'll be easily spotted. There's a lone enemy in an isolated position, so we're going to try to sneak up on him and interrogate him. Maybe he has something useful for us. How do I get to the basement? Keycard. I don't have it, but my partner always leaves his on the table. Depending on the mission parameters, these enemies might give us different information. So in this case, we got the information on a key card that will allow us access to the basement. But due to the open nature of most of the missions in Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, we do not have to follow that path. There's still some enemies between us and the key card, so we'll try to lure some of these out with this generator. We'll turn it off to have someone come and investigate, and we'll set down an ambush for him. We'll hide his body just to avoid detection in case somebody else comes. 
And these Separatist guards aren't stupid, so when one of them came to check out the generator, and this didn't get the power back on, somebody else will come and try to fix it. So we'll leave this guy to fix the generator and take care of him later. So now we're sure no one else will come to investigate the generator, but it's still a good practice to hide the bodies, especially as this is in a highly illuminated area, and the light levels are actually what guides any perception in this game. Now there's a camera noticing us, and we've already hacked onto one of the other CCTV boxes, but there's also a second one controlling the other cameras, and we're going to take care of that now. Once we're in, we can cycle through the feeds to make sure we haven't missed any enemies and maybe get a better view of the key card. There's the card, and like I said earlier, we don't have to actually get it, but this is something that will get you into the basement where the prisoner is undetected, and that's really important in terms of an exit strategy. Because once you're in, you have to get out, and it's not going to be easy with an entire outpost of enemies waiting for you. But if this is how you want to play, you can plant explosives or use a grenade to blow the door to the basement. <coughs> okay, I found the key card. So, with the key card, all we need now to do is to find a way in and release the prisoner. We've actually disabled all the cameras and taken out a lot of the enemies on this outpost, but there's still a lot of patrolling guards. This one in particular is a heavy enemy, and you can tell by the amount of bars on his tag. And the only way to take him out in one shot would be a precise shot to the back of the head, or the eye. And as you've observed, this is actually day now. So we're going to try and get out of the open ground, and when looking for a path, we're going to use the location's verticality to our advantage. So we're going to climb the roof and see if we can find a good entrance that's not heavily guarded. So here we have one enemy, and John is skilled to take out his enemies quickly and silently from any position so we can drop down on them and take them out. So once again we're going to hide the body and make sure nobody finds it. Here's one of the targets off our most wanted list, who have committed the most horrendous crimes against the Georgian people. Whenever we find them, we can take them out to gain additional rewards. We have the key card, so we can quietly enter the basement. I'm in the basement. No, no. 
John's close combat training allows us to use chain kills when we see two or more enemies close to each other. I wish you could see Why is the wine here? always gone? Sometimes we'll find captured civilians in the game, and we can help them if we're able to. Please, help us! Get us out of here! No promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Don't forget about us. We can use scout mode to look for solutions. In this case, it's going to be fairly easy to shoot this lock okay, pad to free the civilians. Wait for things to calm down a little, and then run for your lives. Thank you. We are forever in your debt. Anytime we provide help like that, we're actually helping the Rotki Lions, a resistance movement fighting against the Separatists. And maybe they'll help us in return. John? Why? What did they do to you? Okay, so we found the prisoner. But we're going to have to cut the mission here to avoid major spoilers. Thanks for watching this video on Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tomasz Pruski and I'm a senior level designer for CI Games. I'm here to tell you about Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. We start the game at the safe house, one of the player's hubs with access to the most important tools. At the weapon cache, we are free to choose a loadout which corresponds to our current gameplay needs. In Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, the players are encouraged to experiment with three complementary playstyles. The Sniper, the Ghost and the Warrior, each having its own challenges and rewards. The laptop is used to browse currently available missions and choose which one of them we want to start. Your target is Ivan Khrushchev, a high-ranking officer with one of the syndicates. We were able to track him to the blocks, though we can't pinpoint his exact location. He's also under heavy guard, so <coughs> don't be fancy. Just ice him and get out. Copy that. After choosing mission, we are shown the game's recommended approaches from the Sniper, Ghost and Warrior paths. This is just a recommendation though, and we will not be penalized for choosing a different approach to accomplishing this mission. <coughs> After leaving a safe house, we will always have our vehicle waiting for us in a convenient location. When arriving at a mission area, we will sometimes hear info about optional objectives that can be completed for additional rewards. I've got more info for you, John. A military drone crashed near your vicinity. Luckily, its GPS is still operational. I'll send its last location to you. Find it and recover the data before someone else does. Roger. Be careful on the roads, as you might encounter a variety of deadly military patrols.
After we've chosen a good secluded spot, it's time to use one of our recon tools, the drone. The drone lets us scout out a location from a fairly safe distance and mark our enemies in points of interest like mortars or minefields. Be careful not to be noticed, the enemy will attack the drone. When we've gathered all the necessary intel on the location, it's time to move in. First, we'll use the sniper approach. This means evading the enemy from a distance and finding a good spot to take the shot. The building opposite to the heavily guarded outpost looks like a prime location to set up a sniping position. When a path seems to be blocked, use scout mode to look for places that you can climb. Has to be another way. The balcony looks like my only way out of here. Clear view of the entire outpost from up there. That's the drone we're looking for. Roger that. We found a perfect sniper nest, but we still don't have an exact location of the target. We can use tagging bullets to find nearby enemies and tag them even through walls and obstacles. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. In scope view, we can zoom in on the target, adjust the scope to the target's distance, and offset the aim to combat wind influence. When we're finally ready to take the shot, we can use breath control to stabilize the sway and then pull the trigger. Target's down. Nice shot. Now get out of there.
Okay, let's go back and try that with a different approach. The ghost path is more focused on sneaking in the shadows, luring enemy soldiers into traps and performing silent takedowns. When playing as a ghost, remember to hide in tall bushes, shoot out lights and use the environment to gain an upper hand. Kill for warning. The Scout mode also shows us interactive objects. We can use some of them for sabotage to ambush our enemies. If there are any soldiers in the vicinity, they will investigate these objects and provide us with an opportunity to strike. We don't have to perform an immediate takedown though. If we are sure that we will not be spotted by other enemies, we can try to interrogate our victims to gain vital information like the location of our target or the distribution of troops on an outpost. Talk or I'll break you! No! I'll, I'll talk! I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. There will usually be an alternative route to your target, aside from the most obvious main entrance. So it pays off to do proper recon before entering an enemy outpost. Some of the objects highlighted in the scout mode can help us create additional scenarios during missions. In here, we can mess with our target's TV antenna to lure him out to the roof. That way, we don't have to get too deep into enemy territory. <coughs> Targets down. Good job with that antenna. Don't stick around. Let's try that one more time with a more aggressive approach.
Warrior gameplay is all about creatively using all the tools in our arsenal to eliminate our enemies. However, it is best to have a backup plan and do proper recon before attacking head-on. Going in guns blazing against a horde of enemies without a plan will often spell our doom. Talk or I'll break you. I'll talk. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. Use lots of gadgets and hazardous elements of the environment when playing as a warrior to create chaos and destruction within enemy ranks. an eye on the health bar because it does not regenerate automatically. Explosion on the perimeter! Report! We'll investigate! Eyes on take. Opening fire. Thanks for watching this video on Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Follow us on social media for more info. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Available 127.17. Pre-order now.